is he? Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, there you are. Uh, Brandon, right? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm the obelisk blue in charge of your tutoring today. Okay. Well, it's nice to meet you. And thank you for taking part in the program, by the way. I'm sure that you were kind of skeptical of, uh, obelisk blues, as I understand reds and blues don't exactly get along that well. Mm, yeah, not so much. Yeah, well, I'm hoping that this program will help uh, foster relationships between us, so that way there's not much more arguing, fighting in general, like, I guess, hatred toward that is between us? Yeah, yeah I agree. Well, I'm ho well, like I said, I'm hoping that uh, this helps it out. Anyway, I'm going to be helping you study uh, link summoning and generally other things as I took a look in your grades. They're slipping a bit ever since the summer. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Those. So, yeah. Well, I grabbed all the books that looked like you were going to need to catch up on your grades, so... Yep. That's a lot of books. You have a lot of missing work. Yikes. Yeah, well, let's get started. Uh... Let's start off with chapter one of, uh, the math book. Yeah, uh, it's great. Math. Ugh. And when you link summon to another monster, as long as there's no special criteria met, you can bring out a link one, two, three, or the highest four, based on how many monsters you've used, or on the link monster that was used in the whole link summoning. Any other questions? Okay... Uh, is there any other way? Like, my eyes are burning from reading so much. Well, you did go through seven books, which is amazing in one afternoon for someone to do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you if you want another way, I know a perfect other way. One thing, one way we both enjoy. How about I show oh. you practically what Link Summoning can do? Now that's I'm I'm liking that idea. A lot better than reading books. <laughs> well, you did read all of history in one sitting, so I think you earned this. So, let's get this going. Sounds good. Okay, why don't I take the first turn then? Okay. Future Fusion. Let's start this off. And setting down you. I'll end the turn. Okay. Okay. Let's have a state. Let's go with setting one card face down. And let's summon my rocket warrior. And I will attack you directly. Rocket Warrior, that's an old but good card. It is. Oh, that one tucked away. And I'll end my turn there. One of your favorites, I'm guessing? From back in the day, yeah. Definitely one of my favorites. Nice. Well, I'll reveal my Destiny Hero Dangerous and send to the grave two Destiny Heroes. You and... Uh, why not... You and we'll do something about that. So, on normal summon Drill Dark, activating his effect, allowing me to special summon another Destiny hero, such as Decider. Decider gets an effect that activates at the end of the turn, but that's not all. You see, Future Fusion is going to place is going to summon a fusion spell monster from the extra deck. Do you notice that when you're with these new rules in place, that you're only able to use one extra deck monster per duel? Yeah. Well, with the introduction of links, you are required to... You're only allowed to have one link zone without the use of a link monster. What the link monsters do is, 
using materials that you would normally use for next seeds or a synchro summon you can instead use them to bring out a link monster so long as you meet their criteria and bring out and bring out a uh, monster to help supplement a new zone so why don't I show you using both decider and drill dark I'll bring out security dragon security dragon is a bit of a weird one as it not only gives me a new zone to work with but one for you as well okay Unfortunately, he does not have the power to fight on your rocket warrior, but you know, that's all you can really do. Yeah. yeah. But this does allow me to return to my hand, my drill dark, at the end of the turn. Okay. Let's have a save. And I will. For now, I will activate my twin twisters. And I will send. I send my Thousand Blades to the graveyard. Get rid of your Future Fusion and your other face down card. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to use the Future Fusion as a, an example to show you where the monsters go. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's have a stick. Let's us. I'm gonna normal summon a Halberd. Mm hmm. For the time being. And let's have a look at bringing out two of our own monsters. Yes, so, so you. Use... Dark Rebellion. Yes, and you see yeah. how you didn't have to take up your only extra deck monster zone. You used yeah. Security Dragon's uh, new allotted zone. Yeah. I understand. I like that. Mm hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, how am I turn? As this is just a lesson, you're not taking the duel fully serious, as I am. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Alright, well let's summon Drill Dark. Using him, I'll special summon Doom Lord. Now I'm going to show you a different example. I'm going to use Doom Lord's effect to get rid of your Dark Rebellion Dragon. Okay. I'll just tap you a little. I'll just leave it like that, as the Doom Lord will not allow me to do anything more. Okay. And what can we bring out? I'm gonna bring out my battling boxer. Set one, and I'll end my turn. All right. I will simply set a card and end the turn. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let me. Hmm. Normal summon. My goblin. <laughs> I won't activate his effect. Let's have a stay. Let's try a different one of my monsters. Let's go with King Arthur. And of course, I can use this spot as well. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Yes. You can use both allotted spots. You'll always have one allowed spot, and the other will be uh, the one my card is creating for you. Yeah. Alright, I see. I understand that. Uh, I'll take your face down, card. Funny enough, it's the one defense position monster that can resist your monster. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Well, I'll bring myself back a thousand blades. Mm hmm. And I'll end my turn. Alright, now, you're going to want to pay attention to this. You are allowed to bring back your Dark Rebellion Dragon, but do you see that, uh... Oh, yeah. But do you see that you can place him anywhere? I do. That is because he is not counted as coming from your extra deck. He is coming from either your Banish or your Graveyard, which are different origin points. So as long as it's not coming from the extra deck, you're allowed to place anything in any zone you want. 
Right. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Of course, he doesn't have his overlay unit anymore, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's still got his... still here. Okay. All right. Well, I believe that covers that. I'm just going to do something real quick to perhaps end this duel. Fusing uh, from my hand and there. Let's bring out a Destiny and Dragoon. Activating this will allow me to equip it to, let's say, Drill Dark. Okay. Activating Celesteel real quick, allowing me to banish with him my Decider. To draw new two new cards. And, hmm, yeah, might as well just get rid of your King Arthur. Do you 24. And then the turn. I don't know if you want to continue this duel or not. No, I think that's pretty good stopping point. All right. Well then, let's say, let's just turn off our duel discs then. You seem to have understood the link summoning pretty well at the end of there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you've explained it pretty well, so. I mean, no other Hopefully. best way of doing it is actually no better way of learning than to do it yourself. Speaking of that is true. Speaking of which, I notice you have a lot of warriors. Is that just a warrior-centric deck, or? Yeah, a lot of a lot of warriors. It's supposed to be built around Buster Bladers, and since summer, there's been a few changes. Hmm. But yeah. Well, actually, hold on. I think I have something for you. I'll be right back. Uh, oh. Okay. Sorry to keep you waiting, but no, it's fine. I wanted to give you this. This is a uh, well. You ever heard of this this pro duelist who was like at the that was like one of the best duelists in the world, but he used like only warriors or mostly warriors. It rings a bell. I mean, I am running warriors, so <laughs> so I guess you you uh, studied him up a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Well, he was famous for using a. Uh, a certain monster to its fullest capabilities. It was kind of like his uh, oh, really? his partner, his uh, his ace. And well, okay. my dad, uh, he was a good friend of his at one point and said that he just, you know, disappeared one day and didn't know where he went. So, but he collected some of this, these old cards in memory of him and he gave them to me hoping I can find use for them. So, but, you know, I don't run that kind of deck, at least not right now. At least not that way I could run run these cards, but you know I've decided, you know maybe you should take them. You could use some upgrades. I have also included a few a few of the new link cards in there, but yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, colossal fighter, Zubaba general, some of those tuners that you need to summon them, and I added in, in those links like I said. I also added in the summoner monks. I know that guy also used them, but my dad didn't get them, but decided you know they could be useful for you. Yeah, I feel like they could definitely be useful. Thank you. No problem. Uh, like I said, study up these subjects like here. You could always learn more, a little bit more better about link summoning. Never stop learning kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, endless learning. Yeah, we are at school after all. That is true. Well, I suppose you should go get, get going. It's going to get late soon. Yeah, that's true. I wonder how if uh, anyone's back at the dorm yet. Yeah, only one way to find out. I'm. That is true. I'm probably gonna get some food. I have not eaten today. That sounds good, actually. Yeah. Can get mm. myself a pork roast or something. Sounds great. I mean, probably not as nice as I mean, some of the things we've got, but hey. You know what? Do you want to come in and get some food? Sure, I'd love to. All right. Uh, what would you want? A pizza? Uh, some pig. Ooh, pizza sounds delicious. 